Yeah, we got uh, 83 degrees here today in mid-February in the Midwest, in misery. Um, so, why not? We'll do some kitchen witchery today. What do you say, guys? So, I cleared off the old uh, barbecue. We're going to do some grilling today. Uh, any practitioners... Um, women especially, but men, men can be cooks too, you know. Um, kitchen witchery is, uh, always a good thing. You, the herbs, the same herbs you use in most of your works and stuff, you can use in your cooking. That's where it comes from. So right here, oh man, it smells good. Uh, right here, I got some butterfly uh, pork chops that I've been marinating for about two hours. Uh, this is a combination of herbs and uh, Four Thieves vinegar. If y'all don't know what Four Thieves vinegar is or what it's used for, please Google it. Um, but on a side note, just for practical eating, Four Thieves vinegar uh, is very good. Uh, vinegar in general. Vinegar is good for your meat, especially uh, chicken and uh, white meats like pork and stuff. Uh, it tenderizes it. You, you do it as a marinade. It makes it very juicy, very, very juicy and tender and kind of melt in your mouth and stuff. Now, for like... Mm, Steaks, yes, you can do them vinegar as well. Um, chicken, like I said, is excellent with the vinegar. Uh, and when I'm cooking with vinegar, I just go, you know, I go with Four Thieves. Why not? Um, but, 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 yeah, as far as the beef goes with the vinegar, steaks, steaks you can do in the vinegar is very good but i wouldn't do like a roast like a beef roast a butt roast anything like that in the vinegar because that thick a cut of meat it kind of soaks it up and distorts the flavor of it but anything else uh chicken i when i cook a whole chicken i uh, i baste it in fourthies vinegar um again google fourthies vinegar if y'all don't know what it's used for but, uh, well, yeah, use you, kitchen witchery, man. This is where shit comes from. Well, not all of it, but a lot of it. it comes from the kitchen. So, do that shit up. Put it in your food. Um, I know my husband's going to be watching this, and he's asked me a million times, uh, what exactly, there's a certain spice that I use in a lot of the food I cook. And he, he always asks me what it is. And I've told him several times that it, it's cumin. But he doesn't know what cumin's for. He's about to find out what cumin's for. Cumin keeps your man faithful. <laughs> keeps your husband at home. Uh, not that I need to add the cumin. I got a good man. I got a good husband. Uh, I got a great, wonderful husband. I couldn't ask for a better one. But it doesn't hurt. <laughs> <laughs> and I eat the cumin too, you know, it keeps us faithful to each other, so, you know, why not make the marriage a happy one, and make it last, and keep everyone home, and tranquil, and satisfied, why not, put that shit in your food, uh, so yeah, just a short little snippet today, fourth these vinegar, when you're doing meats, except, uh, roasts, that would be probably the only thing I wouldn't say, or turkey. I might not put it on like turkey. Um, but chicken, it's good. Pork, it's good. Steaks, it's good. Uh, so yeah, Google that shit and learn something. Like, subscribe, and share.